Hello once again, my friends, and I welcome you to another Star Trek related video. Um, not that long ago, I did a video for you guys on the Romulan um, Bird of Prey ship, the iconic model kit from AMT. Well, I'd like to do the same thing today with the Klingons. And there's a, really a lot of interesting facts about the Klingons that I'm going to tell you about today that you may or may not know. But either way, it's going to be really fun. And what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to put you on a tripod so I can start showing you some of these awesome kits. Okay, so when it comes to AMT models, I've shown you guys some real classics in the past. And what I want to show you today, we can start with this one. This is the Klingon alien battle cruiser as seen on star trek and you can see this one is a desirable one because you've got the planet with the rings you've got the klingon d7 and it's firing um, newer versions have the planet missing and it also has <clears throat> the ship firing at the enterprise so this is the original one this is the one that started it all for the klingon d7 now, there's some interesting facts about the Klingon D7 that you guys may or may not know. Now, when it comes to the Romulans, we're introduced to the Romulans in, let's see, it was season one, episode 13 or 14. It was Balance of Terror, and we're introduced to Mark Leonard. We're introduced to the Romulans, and you see the Romulan ship right away. Well, when it comes to the Klingons, or specifically the D7 battlecruiser, in season one, we go to episode 26, and that episode is Erin of Mercy. And the thing with that is, um, they make contact with the Klingons, but it's a scout ship that the Enterprise ends up um, having contact with, and we actually never see the uh, Klingon D7. We never see the ship. Of course, that's with Commander Corps, and they're taking over Organia, and it's a disputed uh, territory, and it's a strategic planet. But the Organians are so highly advanced that they, they perceive the, the Klingons and the, the Starfleet Command are no threats. They neutralize the hostilities. Anyway, we do not see a Klingon D7. Now, I'm talking about the original models when they use the models to film the episodes. I'm not talking about the CGI stuff after. So we don't see the D7 in that episode. The next time we're in, we have the, the uh, Klingons, an encounter, um, let's see, it's still season two, and I think it's episode 10, and that was Journey to Babel. Again, we see Mark Leonard as Mr. Spock's father, Ambassador Sarek. And again, it's the Klingon scout ship that engages the Enterprise. So we don't see the D7. And then again, in season two, I think episode 11, there was an episode called Friday's Child. And that was where the, the Federation was trying to get, let's see, was it dilithium crystals? And the Klingons needed them as well. So they go onto the planet and the, the inhabitants have like tribes and the head one is the Tier. Anyway, we see the Klingon. Well, we see one Klingon in that episode, but we don't see the Klingon ship. Uh, let me see. There was another one. Uh, with the Trouble with Tribbles. Again, that's season two, and that was episode 15. And again, I'm not talking about the CGI stuff. I'm talking about when they actually used the models to film the original episode um, we did not see the Klingon battlecruiser. Um, again, with the CGI, you see it outside the space station, but before that, it was not in the episode. The next episode where we introduce the Klingons is a private little war, and that was season two as well, episode 19. You know, that's when Captain Kirk gets attacked by the Mugatu, and um, Dr. McCoy finds his friend Tyree, and it's his wife that heals Kirk. Um, and the Klingons are supplying their enemies 
with weapons, and Kirk feels that he must supply Tyree and his people with the same balance of power. Again, but we don't see the ship. The D7 is not shown. We go to season three, episode two. You guys remember the Enterprise incident, and that's the first time we are seeing we're seeing a D7 battle cruiser. Now the thing with that was it wasn't Klingon <laughs> because the Romulans were actually using Klingon design. So the Romulans, we, we, we saw this model for the D7 as a Romulan ship before a Klingon ship. And finally in season three, episode seven, we see the episode Day of the Dove. And that is the first time that we see the D7. You guys remember um, Kang, his ship was attacked. Um, there was a distress call sent to the Klingon ship. Um, they rendezvoused at the planet. The same thing with the Federation, a distress signal was sent. And ultimately, the Klingon ship ends up being destroyed by the Enterprise because of the radiation that it was releasing. And that entity wants the um, people aboard to fight to feed off of the hatred. One of the funniest lines was by Commander Kang. Uh, at the end of the episode where he says he needs new he needs no urging to hate humans or I we have no need for urging to hate humans just like something really funny like that anyway that was the first time we saw the d7 battle cruiser as a Klingon ship and at first I was like no that can't be but then when I went rewatched those episodes it, it, it's amazing because the Klingons I think the Klingons are the most popular adversary in the original series. Um, the Romulans we were introduced to first, and the Bird of Prey is a really cool ship. But I think the Klingons kind of took over as that the favorite adversary. So what I present to you is the model for the D7. AMT had released this, and this is the original release. It's a good thing anytime you see as seen on NBC on it, because that's the premier edition for the Klingon D7, and this one actually has lights in it. You can see a little kind of like a blueprint of the scale. The Enterprise of the Klingon Battle Cruiser. Star Trek created by Gene Roddenberry, Klingon Alien Battle Cruiser. And this is kit s952250 and you can see the same illustration and it's the same on both sides i believe yep <clears throat> s952250 all right the other side of the box you can see it's got more of the the scale klingon cruiser the klingon empire for star trek and the feature is the unique demon of the deep space. Design, colorful de Klingon decals, display option, and space base or skyhook mount. Um, forward control and cruise quarters, fully illuminated by operating lights. And actually, when it comes to this model, because this one is in really good shape, when it comes to this model specifically, I got a little surprise for you guys. I was able to get this one um, a little while ago, and this one is still in, is in, in its excuse me in its shrink wrap. And I think what we're going to do with this one is you can see there's some damage. It looked like at one time it was wet on the inside, and it looks like a little bit of mold or discoloration. Anyway, what we're going to do is since I had gotten the other one now, and the one that I got by the way. This one is in much better condition. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing on this and we're going to do a build. And during the series, I'm going to look up all the information that I can on the D7 uh, model. So I think that's going to be fun. I'm going to do some research and get some photos, give you some information on the D7 model itself. 
um, the history of the model, the Klingons, as we go along in the build. So that's going to be a really fun build. So we'll start with the unboxing. So for now, we'll put that aside because I didn't really want to open that one until I could get another one. And I was able to get this one, and this one is in pristine condition. So we're going to keep this one. The next model, that was, let's see, the D7 ship by AMT. This was from the 90s. Um, they changed the box art, the boxing. And this is the original edition Klingon cruiser model kit. And you can see that by this time it's AMT Ertl. You see a nice depiction on the front. This is kit number 6743. Look, you can see $8.75. It's been a while since it's been that price, but you can see the same picture that's on the front. And I believe both ends are the same. Kit number 6743. Going to the side of the box, you can see where they changed the stand. Because the earlier release had the triangle stand with the arm that's coming up on it. And this one has more of a, you know, like a little well, less plastic and it's a little bit smaller base. Original edition Klingon Cruiser. Let's see, is there anything on the other side? Yep. Let's see, this is 1991 release. And you can see, highly detailed kit, 14 inches long, display stand included. So, this one kind of took over after the original release. The original release being in, six, in 60, let's see, 63. I want to say, I'm not sure, but... I'm going to be accurate. The original Enterprise was in 63. I think this came out in 68. So I think this one is from 1968. In the 70s. And then they had changed in the 90s to this box. And let me show you one of the more recent um, editions of this kit. is in the Collector Tin. And like I was telling you guys... The ship no longer has, though the box no longer has the planet with the rings, and the Klingon ship is shooting at the Enterprise. And it's still the Klingon battle cruiser. And they went with this long box, this tall box, kind of like they did for the Enterprise, the original release. We've got core command a core on the side of the box and you can see the features over 15 inches long with detailed chrome parts detail sheet and base with metal support rods so they changed the base again no longer is the one from the the 90s but this has the standard um, round two half dome base with the support rod you can see round two cement not included And we see General Core and Aaron of Mercy. You can see the end of the box. This is kit number AMT 699. And although we see the Klingons, we see General Core, we don't see the ship. We do not see the Klingon D7 well until towards the end of the series, actually. And the first time we see it is in Day of the Dove, and that's with General Kang, or not General, uh, Commander Kang. You can see this one is Star Trek round 2 modelscom and this one has more information on the back. You can see how it's going to look when it's all painted. Unyielding, a kit too dangerous to miss, the Klingon D7 class battle cruiser. This ship made its first appearance in the second season of the Star Trek The Original Series, created by Matt Jeffries to evoke a threatening, even vicious display. The ship's design was modeled on a manta ray, both basic shape and color. Spread wing, primary hull, long neck, 
and bulbous command module provides an instantly recognizable form as if you can see them. Remember, Imperial Klingon starships utilize cloaking devices. Klingons are a warrior culture driven by the pursuit of honor and glory. The Empire uses warships almost exclusively. Klingon vessels are equipped with sublight impulse and warp drive engines. For faster than light travel, and they are heavily armed, they can draw from an extensive arsenal of offensive weapons. The interior of the Klingon vessels are utilitarian in nature, keeping the Klingon ideals of strength, speed, and stealth. Now the most iconic enemy ship in Star Trek lore returns, Star Trek Battle Cruiser. Produced in 1650 scale, the kit includes classic ship parts, decal sheet, dome style base, and assembly instructions in a collector tin package. You can see the model. Details include Klingon markings and the new window decals. And you can see the detail. This is a 2011 release, bull jointed base, the details and filming model. So, this is the most recent that I've have that I have the collector tin. We've got this one that was the original from 1968, and we have the one from the 90s as well as having the one that we're going to be doing the build on. And this is going to be so much fun. I'm looking forward to doing this. Again, when I do more research on the model, we're going to make it as close to the filming model as possible. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on this little D7 special edition um, video. And until we do the unboxing and the build on the D7, I'll talk to you guys real soon.